Me and Kat had a show together at Kent State University. There's a comic named Coco Brown, and she went long, and Kat was a headliner. And I'm hosting, and Coco Brown was supposed to do like 20 or 25, and she went over. She did like 35, 40, let's say. When you're doing stand-up, man, five minutes, okay. When you start getting into 15, 20 minutes over, if you're a headliner, a lot of headliners deem that disrespectful. Especially when you got like four comics on the show, crowds can get tired. And if they get tired, then you go up there to a flat audience and it sucks. So I, when she says goodnight, I go on stage and I can hear Kat and her argument on the side of the stage. Coco's voice is deeper than Kat's. So it was a funny argument because Kat wasn't, you just going to say, fuck me. You ain't going to worry about when I got to go on stage. Well, I'm just doing me, you know. <laughs> and I learned this from Kat after that day. Kat went up and did about 15 minutes. Now he was supposed to do an hour. He did like 15. And when he got off, he told the university, she did my time. So he basically, and I agree with Kat 100% on this. He was like, I would have did an hour, but you let Coco go long. So she did my time. You let her do the time I was supposed to do. And he got off and went home. And I was like, whoa. I was like, and I'm the same way when I get on those shows. And if I got four or five people in front of me and I'm headlining and people go long, uh, I'm getting off early. Trust. Six months later, we're in Austin, Texas. Uh, when I got the contract, it said the Frank Irwin Center, which is where the Texas Longhorns basketball team plays. And in my brain, I was going, why would somebody book me and Kat at the basketball arena? I was like, we're good for about 1,500, 2,000 tickets sold, not 10,000. And then I got there, it's fucking packed. I'm looking around like this. Oh, shit, Kat popped. <laughs> and I was like... So I'm on stage like, damn. And then when I saw the ovation, when Kat went on stage, I went, oh, this motherfucker popped. I, I, you don't know when it's going to happen. It just happened. But within that six months, it happened for Kat. So I get done with the show. Show was smooth. Everybody was had a good time. And I get back to the hotel and the, the, the promoter had gotten me and Kat two separate limousines. And I'm talking to my driver and I had some buddies in town. I said, hey, man. We'd like to take the uh, limo out. We want to we want to hang out. I've never been to Austin awesome before, and we just want to hit some bars and nightclubs and hang out. And he goes, no problem, Gary. It's going to be $300 for a couple hours. And I went, okay. So I tried to give him cash. He wouldn't take it. He goes, oh, no, I need a credit card company policy. We don't take cash. I'm looking at the dude. I go, but it's cash. It's yours. You ain't got to tell nobody. Just take it, dude. He goes, yeah, I wish I could, but I can't. Company policy. As I'm having this discussion with my driver, during this discussion, Cat had pulled up. And Kat just walked over right when I'm finished up this discussion. He goes, hey, Gary, what's going on? And I go, nothing, man. He goes, is there a problem? I said, no, I just, I went to limo for a couple hours. And my driver said, he don't take uh, credit cards. I mean, he don't take cash. He needs a credit card. Kat said, hold on. He takes my driver around the back of his limo. And to this day, I cannot tell you how much money Kat gave that driver. But I did see him peeling off hundreds behind the car, right? Kat walked by me. And this is all he said verbatim. I'll never forget it. He goes, He's yours for the evening, Gary. Enjoy your night. Oh, yes, they do accept cash. 